cottage pie. Yeah, that's right. Family favourite with a little bit of a twist. We haven't got a potato topping on top. We've got a cauliflower one. We're going to put some parmesan in there, a little bit of cream and gratinate it on top. It's going to be a nice little twist to this dish. And what is the difference between cottage pie and shepherd's pie? A lot of people don't know, but very simple. Shepherd's pie, sheep, lamb. There you go. And cottage pie is beef. Did everyone get that? Yeah. yeah. I did. Yeah, okay. no, nice, thank you. <laughs> I need to confuse myself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going to do it with beef. We've got the beef mince there. We've got some stock. We've got some mushrooms in there. And you'll notice there's no peas in this. I hate peas in uh, cottage pie, shepherd's pie, anything. So there's no peas in this recipe. You can add it if you want, but it will be horrible. Yeah, we are in the cafe kitchen and we're making cottage pie today and things are underway. Some beautiful dicing of the uh, vegetables there. Thank you. Uh, and nice makeshift steamer as well. So yep. cauliflower. I love cauliflower, one of my faves. Yes, this is great. So just over a pan of boiling water, you just put a pop of sieve in there yep. and then a lid on and then that's just going to steam. So we'll get this uh, nice and soft. Yep. So I pray about 10, 15 minutes steaming, depending on how much um, it's boiling. Uh, get it nice and soft and then we can just going to puree it up with a little bit of cream, butter and some Parmesan cheese. Yum! Just so that gratinates on top. And it's a good way of like uh, cooking cauliflower because it's a nice healthy way of yeah. cooking it. Yeah. And then you can control the amount of fat you're going to put in. Brilliant. Okay, so while the yep. cauliflower is cooking, we're going to start our base. Right, nice. So, got a nice hot pan here. Yep. So, a little bit of uh, oil in there, get it hot, and then we're just going to fry the mince off first. So, okay, you can do cool. that. I can so do you that. Just, just maybe do half of that. Yeah, half of it. Yeah, so nice hot pan. So, you've got that sizzle, and then as you're cooking it, you want to sort of keep turning it, keep breaking it up. You don't want big sort of, um, you know, patches of mince in there. Okay, cool. That'll be even worse than peas. <laughs> I'm quite, I don't mind the peas, actually. <laughs> you know, I'd rather have peas in it than carrot, to be honest, but... Get out. <laughs> yeah, get out. <laughs> I'm joining you soon, Holly. I've been kicked out. Why am I only doing half this mince? Well, just, just so we don't... Um... Overfill your pan. Yeah, oh, exactly, okay. exactly. I thought you were doing some fancy, just to put half and then the other half later. No, no, just so we can speed the recipe up. Oh, yeah, you can see, sort of, you know, you're cooking it, you're turning it, it's breaking up, so you're getting a nice texture of the mince there. So you want to cook this for about two, three minutes. Um, and then it's a good tip for you now, if you do all your mince and there's a lot of fat comes out of your mince, you know, sometimes yep. it's quite fatty, just uh, drain oh, it yeah. in a sieve. Not the same one as that. Have another sieve, yeah. drain it, uh, and let that excess fat to, uh, come out. And yeah. then, you can, then you can fry the vegetables in a little bit more of that fat, but you won't have that excess amount of fat throughout the whole um, oh, nice. okay. uh, that's cottage that's pie. Good. Okay, good work. Cool. So that's good. So looking good. Yeah, so it's looking good. So it's browned. That's quite good now. Nice. Uh, we'll give it a light season as we're going. Good man. And then we're going to pop some vegetables in there. So carrots, beautiful cottage pie. You look there. <laughs> we'll put extra carrots in there for more. Okay. Oh, yeah, nice. Thanks. Yeah. It'll so nice me and down. diced. And then we've got some onion as well. And we just so, want to sweat these down. Yeah, so we're just going to sweat them, them down. A couple of minutes in there. I'm going to pop some rosemary in as well. So rosemary, awesome. I'm going to leave it quite big because it's going to cook down so it's all soften and give us a really nice flavour in there. Okay, and wh wh why rosemary? Does it go well with these? Yeah, it's mints? really nice. I mean, it'd be great, you know, um, shepherd's pie, lamb, rosemary, be really good. But it works really well with beef as well, and that's why we're doing it. You can use thyme if you want, whatever you want to do. Oh, it smells so good! So, when you're actually doing it at home, you know, give it two, three minutes between each stage. You know, oh. we're just speeding it up a little bit now, but it will soften the vegetables and it'll start bringing the flavour out. Well, you're right about that rosemary. It smells incredible. That's oh, it's good. Brilliant. And you're right, it goes perfect with lamb, doesn't it? I never thought of that, so. And uh, Swiss browns. Yes. So I'm just going to quarter them. Why, why are you using Swiss browns? Just a bit of extra flavour. Oh, yeah. The posh mushrooms. Nice. They're just like butter mushrooms that are just brown. Oh, these are but all, they are nice. It, all easy to find ingredients, too, yeah, and relatively easy cheap. To and I quite, I quite like to just quarter these, you know, leave these in big chunks because it is going to, you know, it's going to cook for a while. And the, the more you cook a mushroom, the more it's going to shrink. But it will take right. on the flavour of this, and it's quite nice. Okay, good. Looking good. You can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. In fact, you can always go back, check out the other recipes as well. Can I just say the... A little um, bit of garlic as well, sorry. The, uh, what did you make yesterday? It was so good. The stew? The stew, the ham hock. Oh, it was so good. I sat around after the show and ate most of that, actually. So thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, nobody else got any. <laughs> OK, so cool, we're just brewing up our main mixture yep. here, the cauliflower's looking pretty good. Yeah, so just, uh, you know, just check, you can just give it a prod, it should just fall apart, yep. or just tip of your knife, it'll just go in without any resistance. So, so probably needs about a little bit sort of more. five, six minutes, yep. yeah. OK, good. And then we'll be ready to puree that. Smelling good in here. Right, so once you get to this stage, you know, your vegetables are sort of swayed down, your mince is nice and brown, a little yep. bit of tomato paste okay. in there. 
And here's a little tip for you. Yeah. If you cook that out with all the vegetables for like, you know, two, three minutes, you'll get some extra flavour. You'll roast that tomato flavour in there. Oh, nice. And it'll just be like a, a nice extra sort of hit for you. Nice work. OK, well, this mixture is looking fantastic. Now we need to concentrate on the cauliflower. How's it going? Oh, we haven't finished this yet. Oh, we haven't finished it. Well, so we've we got, got a little bit of flour as well. OK. So pop, pop a little uh, sort of spoon of flour in there okay. with the mince whilst it's dry. Get all that sort of uh, dissolved into the meat. Yeah. And that's going to help thicken our sauce a little bit. Okay. So and this then, is cottage pie, so I think I called it shepherd's pie before. Yeah. I wasn't listening to what your definition <laughs> was. All right, and then once the, once the flour's in, we're just going to get a bit some flavours into the mince. So I've got some beef stock here. Yeah. So I'll pop that in. Got a little white wine vinegar and some Worcestershire mm. sauce as well. Nice. So get that in, cook it all yeah. down. Give it about sort of five, ten minutes so the, the meat sort of softens slightly and it absorbs all those flavours. Uh, you want a little bit of sauce in the bottom, not yep. too much. You don't want it swimming in sauce. Okay. You know, it's quite sort of a dry dish. Okay, nice. No, we like Dreyish. that. Good work. Right, so you can turn that down, just let, let it, it simmer, simmer, and then we'll give it a good season before we put it into our um, container and before we put the top on. Perfect. Right, do you want to do this? Cauliflower, yeah, I'll do this. Right, so just uh, we're going to puree it now, so it's nice and soft, so yep. we'll pop some in there. Okay. And then you can do this in a food processor or, you know, a blender, whatever you want. We've got a little stick blender today. I do mine on the Nutribullet, actually. Or in the Nutribullet. Yeah. That was, that was a good plug. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's nice and quick. So, oh, you swap around this side. Okay, cool. Right, so we're going to we'll give it a little bit of uh, seasoning. Yep. So a little bit of salt and pepper. Give it a little bit of cream just to uh, help the process. And then we're going to pop some butter in as well. Oh, yeah, nice. There you go. Here's like, your flavour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've cooked it really? so healthily, we can add lots of <laughs> Yeah, no, that's right. That's cool. So we're just going to puree that down. Sorry. So it's entirely up to you now. If you want to put it in the blender, let it run for like sort of five, ten minutes, you know, get it nice and smooth. If you want that texture, do that. That's fine. If not, do it with a stick blender and sort of, you know, puree it so it's still sort of chunky. It's quite nice to have a little bit of texture, texture in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, So you can see that now... That's pretty good. You need a bit more, you reckon? No, I think it's good. I, I, li I, like, I like it like, like this, yeah. And then as it cooks, it's going to go crispy on top, nice and golden, and we'll get, you know, we'll get, get different texture from it as well. Okay, chefs need to taste. Beautiful. I reckon a little bit more salt. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Well, that's quite a lot of Yum, butter in that's there. that's good. <laughs> that <laughs> amount of butter was for the whole cauliflower, not just like a little bit. Yeah. okay, this is going good. And then we're going to put the uh, parmesan in now as okay. well. And then get all that in. Nice work. Yum. Right, and then we've got our mince mince mix here. So yep. you can see, sauce is thickened slightly. It's reduced down. You know, it's still nice and moist, but it's not swimming in sauce. So that's what we're looking for. Well, no, because otherwise, yeah, what happens is it just gets all drippy, doesn't it? Starts spreading all over the plate. Drippy. <laughs> we don't like that. That's it. And then just spoon the cauliflower over the top. And then this wants to go under a hot grill. So really hot grill, sort of middle shelf for about 10, 15 minutes, just so it sort of starts to toast and gratinate on top. Geez, that parmesan made a big difference to that, actually. Real flavour burst. So thanks for that tip. Beautiful. Okay. And, and this is such a fast recipe. Right, from start to finish, you can have this done in probably like half an hour, if Great. that. Right. Because everything's hot, you know? Your puree's cooked, it's hot, you just gratinate yeah. in it, your base is hot, so you're just getting some colour in the uh, under the grill now, and that's it. Fantastic. OK, this is going to be delicious. <laughs> because I'm already on the recipe, it's been gratinating for about 15 minutes. Look at that. Beautiful colour on there. Got a nice crunchy top. It enhances that Parmesan cheese, and you've got a nice, creamy, tasty, delicious meat in there with no peas. It's going to be fantastic. Nice. What's with your pea issue? <laughs> he said, does have a pea issue.